trade inevitably connects different parts of human lives, economy, cultures. And there is a permanent issue of articulating open trade with uh, global uh, public goods uh, like environment, like uh, health, like uh, development, like uh, financial stability. Uh, and that's for sure uh, an issue which uh, deserves uh, uh, more careful attention, uh, not least because, as uh, many of you have already said, coherence in the system is a problem. Now, it's not a problem in theory. The theory of the present international system, uh, model uh, 1648, as we would say for uh, guns, uh, is that there is no problem. This system is composed by sovereign molecules uh, whose themselves uh, have the monopoly of coherence and aggregation of coherent sovereign molecules create coherent international organizations. Now, we all know it doesn't work this way, and we have an issue there. Hence, proposals such as uh, this uh, Economic uh, Council. Uh, frankly speaking, I'm not, I'm not sure that's doable. Uh, and something that's built on the model of the Security Council or on the model of a national government, in my view, will not work, at least not short term. Uh, I've been one of the advocates of this idea, which was, if you remember well, uh, pushed by Delors in the 1980s, so not yesterday. Uh, but with the lesson of experience, I think uh, this will take an extremely long time, and we better start with what we have. And what we have is a sort of triangle uh, where various bits of coherence exist. The leadership part is with the G20, the legitimacy part is the, the UN, the expertise, uh, resource mobilization capacity is with international organizations. So it's not one government, it's not one place, it's a triangle within which more coherence can be produced. And more, pro more coherence can be produced within this triangle if the interactions between the various bits of the triangle are improved. There is a reasonably good interaction between international organizations and the G20. There is a reasonably good, although it could be improved, interaction between international organizations and the UN system, where there is a weak link, which in my view needs to be addressed urgently, is between the G20 and the UN system. And I think if we don't fix that, reasonably soon, the capacity of this angle to produce coherence, which is a major issue, will be weakened.